Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Amanda. Um, I'm going to be doing my makeup with you guys today because I have to go to church for a meeting, for volunteering for um, Boom Camp, which is like VBS. Anyway, um, this week has been so good. Um, I'll do my spiel and then... We'll get into it. So I had RNY gastric bypass on June 22nd, 2017 in Federal Way, Washington at St. Francis Hospital with Dr. Harun Anwar. My highest weight was 302 pounds. My surgery weight was 266 and my current weight is one, still 149. I hit my ultimate goal, which is amazing, and I'm just maintaining now. Um... I cannot believe in a week it's my one year it's mind-blowing um this week I'm just healing still from my tummy tuck and I will show you how that looks at the end um eating as best as I can getting my fluids in my weight's kind of been up and down because of the swelling from my tummy tuck but that's a given um, tomorrow's my actual 51 week, but I'm going to be doing so much tomorrow that I'm not going to be able to get this done. So, um, I have my two week post-op after my tummy tuck with my doctor. It's been two weeks. That doesn't feel long at all. Um, no, it's been three. May 30th. Hold on. Nope, only two. It feels like three. I'm healing so well. Um... But, so my two-week post-ups tomorrow with my doctor, and then right after that, I have to shoot to my son's barbecue at school, and then um, right after that, we come home, and I have stuff to do here, and then Friday, I have my one-year blood work, and it's fasting, so I'll go right as soon as I drop my son off to school, I will head to the blood draw, which is a ton of blood work compared to six months, like it's double, it feels Anyway, so I have to get that done a week before my week, my one year is next Friday, the 22nd. So, it will be one week from then is when you get your blood work, according to my doctor. So, I'll be doing that on Friday. And then Friday, I, at 7 o'clock, I have a consult for, I'm going to get my half sleeve completed. So, I'm very excited for that. I have my birth flowers and my husband's birth flower and then I'm gonna get um some lyrics from a song I'll explain it I'll do a reveal and I'll explain it and then I'm gonna get my kids birth flowers and it's gonna come all the way down pretty much to here hopefully and you guys will see it I will do a reveal and explain everything it means and I'll go through all my tattoos on my body and ex every tattoo on my body means something I just to me I feel like I can't just get something random on my body I have to, um, you know, I have, to, it has to mean something to me at least. And I'm not even doing my makeup because I'm talking. But, um, yeah, it's been a really good week. I'm not going to be doing weekly, um, videos after 52 weeks. I'm probably going to be doing monthly updates, makeup tutorials, stuff like that. But I just can't keep up. After a year of doing this, I got to my goal, and that's what I wanted to record. So I'll just be doing monthly updates after that, and you, you know, keeping up with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you my incision. So I'm wearing this is an extra extra small shirt from Lulu, and it's absolutely huge. But okay, so I'm very swollen, as you can see, but my incision looks amazing. All the Stary strips have come off. See, it's like definitely swollen. This is my hip bone, but it's still swollen. So, and then it looks very, very, very good healing wise. So, it's just the swelling needs to go down, and it will be more of a natural. This won't be here, this won't be here. It'll be more of a natural waste. So, I'm just trying to keep. My turmeric up, my pine nuts, see how it sticks out, that's going to go down too. It's just swollen right now, which is very common, it's only been two weeks. So I wear high-waisted underwear, and then I wear my Spanx, and then I also 
have um, a wrap I wear too. So I really, 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 I'm, I'm in that phase. I had it with R&Y too. I had it after my breast reduction. It's called the post-op blues, like what did I do, you know, because it just looks so weird to me. And I don't like that feeling because I am so beyond grateful to have had R&Y. And I'm so beyond grateful that I could get my stomach skin removed and covered. And I feel like I should be feeling like this. And I know everyone's like, oh, it's common. I just feel like it's so petty. But I just don't like the way it looks right now. And I know it's going to probably look fine, you know. But it's just not what you expect. Like, you don't expect to be so oddly looking you know like I don't know I just have like what I want to look like and I'll probably get there after the swelling comes down it's just the swelling's really getting me so that's the only thing but um so I'm really excited I'm going to my consult tomorrow or Friday and then June 23rd I should be getting it done hopefully so um I'm very excited for that um but anyways, that's my 51-week update, and I'll see you guys next week at one year.